Breaking News. I am your host, Captivating Krishna. Here are some of your top stories for today, February 11th. New Hampshire hopes to clarify unsettled Democratic contests. Prosecutors seek a seven to nine years in prison for Trump ally Roger Stone. Puerto Rican-born U.S. citizen wins lawsuit against Georgia, allowing him to get a driver's license. White supremacist pleads guilty in Las Vegas bomb plot case. And college student busted for intentionally peeing on two women from a balcony. Let's get to the news. Reporting that Democrats are hoping that the voters in New Hampshire will reset the party's presidential nomination fight on Tuesday and bring some clarity to the young primary season that has been mirrored in deep dysfunction and doubt since the chaos of the Iowa caucuses the fail to perform their traditional function in dwindling down the race it now falls up to New Hampshire to begin cutting the Democratic field which still has a dozen candidates reporting that federal prosecutors on Monday asked the judge to sentence longtime Trump associate Roger Stone to seven to nine years in prison after he was convicted in November for making false statements, witness tampering, and obstruction. The request was made in a sentence memorandum filed on Monday by prosecutors in Washington, D.C. Prosecutors said that the sentence of 87 to 108 months is consistent with the guideline sentence outlined by federal law. In a 26-page memo, prosecutor said Roger Stone obstructed Congress's investigation into the Russian interference into the 2016 election, lied under oath, and tampered with witnesses. They added that when the crimes were revealed by the indictment, In this case, he displayed a content for this court and the rule of law. During the trial, prosecutors portrayed Stone, 67, as a serial liar who tried to bully witnesses into not cooperating with authorities. They charged Stone, a longtime confidant of President Donald Trump, with making false statements, obstruction, and witness tampering in a case that was an offshot of special uh, counsel Robert Mueller's Russia investigation. That a Puerto Rican born U.S. citizen has won a lawsuit filed against Georgia, allowing him to get a driver's license in the state. Kenneth Cabin Gonzalez received his driver's license two and a half years after his first attempt, which ended in officials accusing him of submitting fraudulent documents, NBC has reported. Georgia's Department of Driver Services, DDS, agreed in a settlement for, to the federal lawsuit to give Cabin Gonzalez $100,000 and adjust its policies for U.S. territory-born citizens to obtain driver's license. Now, these citizens will no longer have to take a written driving or culture test to transfer uh, their licenses. AP is reporting that a self-described white supremacist pleaded guilty on Monday in Las Vegas to collecting materials and planning to bomb a synagogue or an office of the Anti-Defamation League or shooting people at a fast food restaurant or a bar catering catering, to LGBTQ uh, customers. Connor Calamo, 24, stood before a U.S. District Judge, James Mahan, who questioned him about his encrypted internet chat with FBI informant, him being a member of the U.S.-based neo-Nazi group Atomwithin Division. Clamo has said to possess materials required to make destructive devices. He pleaded guilty to felony possession of unregistered firearm as well. Clamo faces between two to three years behind bars at sentencing on May 14th. He might have to face up to 10 years and a fine of $250,000 if convicted at trial. A Michigan State University student was busted last Saturday for intentionally peeing on two women from a balcony of a Florida nightclub, according to reports. Jack Eastern 
DeBarber in their 20 years old was charged with two counts of battery for allegedly showering two women with his urine while they sat on a bench outside of the nightclub 261st, a criminal complaint. The victims were struck in the face, mouth, hands, head, arms with the urine as she looked up to see what was hitting her, the St. Petersburg police said. The alleged pea brain st college student was uncooperative with police, the documents show. De Barbara was released the same day on a thousand dollars cash bond, 500 for each charge, the jail record shows. And once again, thank you for watching TCN News. I am your host, Captivating Christian. And as always, be the change you want to see. If you want change, the change starts with you. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave comments below. I would like to hear what you think about these stories and more. Alright, have a good day. Peace.